What you are looking at right now is actually the SQL Server Management Studio environment. Within this environment, you will notice that I'm actually focusing on two tables. The first table is actually the department table and the second table is the staff table. Now let us have a look at the staff table. This staff table is actually residing inside a database called webA underscore database. Now, this staff table here actually consists of six records at this moment. The first record is trying to describe a staff having the name of Daniel and he is actually under a particular department. Now let's take a look at the second record. It is trying to go and describe another staff who is Simpson and he is also working under a particular department. So let us have a look at the department table. You will notice that the department table consists of two columns and the first column is called the department record ID. The second column is the department name. Now these two columns are actually working together to describe that there is a department called sales and marketing and this department is uniquely represented by a value of one. Now let's have a look at this department. This record is describing another department called finance and this finance department is uniquely represented by a value of 2 inside the department table within this database. So altogether, there are 3 departments that has been created inside this department table. And let's have a look at the staff record again. So in which department that this Daniel is working under? So Daniel is actually under department sales and marketing. Let's take a look with our human eyes that Simpson is actually working under the department of finance. So in other words, these two tables, staff table and the department table, they are actually working together to describe a staff in a particular department. Now let us actually examine the behavior of identity key, shall we? Now let's just say that I am actually going to describe another staff called Mary and her date of birth is actually something like this and her email, let me actually provide a very simple email and this is actually going to be the fake mobile contact and she is working under the department of finance so the value of 2 will be created here. Am I correct? Finances uniquely represented by the value of 2. So, notice that right now, I'm actually going to click on outside the row. So, I'm going to click now. you notice that once the record is being created, what has happened to the staff record ID? Did I provide any value inside? No, I didn't provide any value inside. The value is automatically generated. That is number one observation that you should notice. Then the second observation is all these values are unique. Now let me actually delete this Mary record. Ta-da! Okay, it is gone case. Let me actually try to refresh it. Now let's just say that I'm going to recreate the Mary record. Okay, I'm going to recreate the Mary record and let me provide a very simple email information followed by a test mobile contact and I'm going to describe that this lady is <coughs> under the department of sales and marketing. Am I right? Am I right? Let me see. Yes, sales and marketing is one. Now let's have a look at the behavior of this staff record ID column again. ta -da! It is 8. What happened to 7? Ah, so whatever values that were used previously are not reusable okay so that's why 7 is no longer being used by this column and a new value which is 8 is actually being used so how did I set this behavior for the staff record ID actually for the department record ID it also has the similar behavior I can't even edit it oh, edit, edit, edit. Can't, can't, can't. I can't even edit it okay let me actually show you how -da 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 -da, I went to the design. Okay, okay. Let me make it slow. Right click on the database table and select the design. Then under the design, you notice that I must focus. I must 
pay attention to the first record and this is the column properties window that is describing the behavior of the first column okay so staff record id what is the behavior notice that i have set it to yes i have already set this column that hey you you will automatically generate the number and make sure that it is unique so what if i don't want this column to have this behavior i'll just change it to no but of course i will be having a suicidal action in doing that okay now let me see anything else oh yes primary key this one is very easy but of course i've already set the primary key previously this is how we set the primary key as simple as that so every single database table you must have a primary key column and you must have an identity key behavior for the primary key okay so this is a quick examination of the two tables the staff table and the department table and how they work together to describe a staff under some department thank you very much thank you for your time bye bye